What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMAX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our market analysis for the Digimon TCG like we ever do every Friday or Saturday, uh, usually mostly Friday at the end of the week. We get through, we talk about market prices, we talk about how things are going uh, with the set, with the current meta, with uh, tournaments and tournament prizing cards and we try to just uh, focus in on cards we think that we need to look at and see what's going on. As always, we're here to try and give you guys the best and most update information as we can and uh, have some fun while we do it. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. Well, let's get into it. We're going to start off with Secret Crisis. This is our last time we're going to be doing a, just a full set overview of like all the alternates and the cards uh, that you want to watch out for. Um, because now we this is the second week into the set, um, I guess the third week into the set, but like the second week uh, after the set release, set released last Friday. So now we're looking at the kind of week one prices, seeing where everything's falling here. Uh, we see a lot of the low pull rate cards are, are hitting $400, uh, $200 for the secret uh, Fenrir Lugamon. Um, so that card... It's come down quite a bit. Shine is a little bit about on the same price. So if you get any of these, they're the good ones. These are still pretty good. Uh, the Greymons are awful. Uh, if you pulled a Grey Greymon like me, rest in peace. Um, they're less than a hundred. Uh, I managed to get uh, sixty nine. Uh, uh, funny. Uh, uh, managed to get sixty nine for my uh, one, which was this one, which is actually only worth sixty now. So I, I got lucky. Um, and then there's. Uh, Ancient Garumon, that's one of the highest alts in the set, $70. The deck is uh, set to be one of the best decks of this format, and it is pretty fierce. Uh, as you can see, Koji also leading the Tamers at 35 but it has come down quite a bit. Uh, this, too, was, I think, up around 7580 so it's I think it's come down. So we're looking to be in a good spot. Potentially, hopefully, it'll drop you know below below 60 below 50, you know, 55 if we're lucky, but I think it's going to keep a high cap around there. Um this card's come down a lot, like $150 uh, down to 60 so a lot better, uh, especially since, uh, you know, it's no Magnamon prices, and it's not even a secret, so uh, really nice to see that come down. Um, Dex Doru has actually gone up because the deck is actually doing really well. Uh, still not too bad, $45, but it's definitely gone up. Uh, it was around 34 uh, 35 so it's gone up quite a bit. Uh, Gallantmon's come down quite a bit. Um, same with the Secrets have all come down quite a bit. Uh, Omni's come down. Um, I think this will probably still come down a little bit more because this deck is harder to do, I believe. It's just harder to build uh, a really good DNA Digivolve uh, Gabumon, Agumon deck. I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just not as, as viable as, say, Imperial Dramon. Um, but still a really good card, and I think probably come down a little bit more, so you can hold off on that. Uh, these things, I think that's going to stay around where it's at, because the deck is actually doing well. Um, and then uh, Grey Mons are... <laughs> I don't know if the Grey Mons are ever going to see play, but they're get, they're going to uh, probably decrease still, but still that's a good price. Uh, this card, uh, get your Ancient Grey Mons, because uh, apparently this deck... I, I was excited for this deck, and I still am. Um, but the deck's apparently not going to do anything. Uh, well, so far we haven't had any tops. But uh, this went down from 75 at pre-release to now, you know, a third of its original cost. So get get your Ancient Greymons. Uh, Takuya has gone down quite a bit. I would hold off still. I could see this dropping below 20. Uh, Kazuchi Monart, I think this is where it's going to stay. Uh, and it's pretty good, 24. Because uh, <clears throat> you need it for Fenrir Lugamon. So the, I think these are staying around where they are uh i i can see this going down to 15 dollars because yeah um this has gone down and then up so i think probably their 20 dollar marks where this is going to stay shine gray on burst mode this deck's actually doing good um so i think probably going to stay around 20 dollars might go down a little bit more but uh if a deck continues to do good i think it'll stay it might even go up a little bit but not a lot uh, Takuya. Takuya is another card that was like $40, uh, $40, $50. It has dropped uh, dramatically. It's now 16 so it's a good time to pick up your copies. Um, that's not, it's just not even all the alts here. Uh, here we go. 
Uh, we have uh, Ancient Gurumon being your best super to get. Um, $20 for the regular secret for Fenrir Lugumon. So that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, Ancient Gurumon, best super to get. Uh, this card's I would pick up any of these other alts. They're all like almost ten dollars. You can probably get them from under ten dollars. Uh, you got a couple good supers there that you can try and hawk. Uh, well, that's an alternate. Um, but uh, like I said, any of these ones that are like close to ten or under, uh, I love that. That's still ten dollars. It's just not as good as we thought or as we hoped it was going to be. Um, yeah. And then like. Yeah, all the alts are pretty cheap. And then all the supers are pretty cheap after that now. So it's a good time to get pick up your stuff. Uh, winter card's still 10 bucks, but I think the participant's worth like a dollar or like less than a dollar in the sense. But that is it for uh, BT17. That is where the prices are kind of like, some things are still a little bit high. Most of the stuff's come down quite a bit. Quite a bit, so good time to start buying, um, definitely. Um, and if you've got some of those cards that are still high, sell them right now. That's kind of where it's at. Uh, Evo Cups. Yay, Evo Cups finally up. So we can see here we got Zephyrgamon Champions at around $35. Uh, the top four stuff is mostly more expensive uh, to a degree um, than the other stuff. You know, the participant stuff's pretty cheap. Um, some of the stuff's got a little bit of value to it, mostly the Galmon stuff. Um, but then you have like this where it's the same price for the top four and the regular. Um, same with that. Uh, that's pretty cheap. And then the top four, yeah, they're pretty close. Um, Gamma Mon's not really worth a lot. Yeah, the Gale Mon regular is not worth a lot, but it's funny because the top four is $15. So that, that's quite a, a discrepancy there. Um, Zephyr Gamon's about $10 apart from the top four to the regular. So we got our prices here. It's not anything huge. Um, it's definitely a lot cheaper than I would say the last Evo Cup. I think had higher prices when everything came out. So definitely a lot pricier than the last Evo Cup stuff. And I would say a lot less than both Evo Cups have been a lot less than Store Champs the year before. Those cards were worth a lot more, which is funny because these are nicer alternates um, that they're giving us than just the gold bordered ones, in my opinion, anyways. But that's, that's what I'm thinking about. So yeah, so I would start picking up these cards as you like them. You could probably wait a little bit. They will drop a little bit more. There's going to be a lot more copies on the market. So maybe give it a week and then check it out. And you probably get these cards for pretty cheap. Uh, we got a few more tournament things to talk about. We're looking at the um, finalist cards again. I still haven't sold my finalist pack. Nobody wants this stuff, unfortunately. Um, but it's not worth much. It's like $12 here. 14 here i mean like market price is a little bit more um it's about double basically um but basically on, based on listings uh this stuff is all it's all pretty cheap um yeah it's pretty, pretty cheap uh any outliers anything good uh fender lugamon um, so yeah, the participant stuff's pretty cheap. Yeah, 15 market price. That's well for finalists. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very cheap basically. So it's uh, good, good prices. Um, but a lot of these cards are just kind of irrelevant right now, I would say. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely try and sell what you got. Uh, and if you're looking to pick up, uh, you could pick up finalists for cheap. You could pick up. You know, um, you could just pick up the participants. That'd be nothing either. So it'd be a good time to pick that up now. Same with event pack. Uh, this is our last look at the event pack set or six because seven's coming out in September. Um, yeah, everything's ten dollars or lower <laughs> or lower. Um, I actually got some Belfamons uh, for ten bucks each. I hadn't pulled a single one, so I had three. I said, hey, sure, I'll get three. And now I'm waiting for my last couple of event packs and, 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 uh, from two events, and I'm going to be like, I'm probably going to pull two. Like, if I pull one, yay, because um, I haven't pulled a single one. But if I pull two, it'll be like, ah, because I do need a few other ones to finish off my play sets. But, like, I'm not going to pay anything. I'm so glad I just waited and collected um, because now I'm not going to pay anything for the rest of these cards. I mean, Dark Nightmon, I think I need one of um, or two. 
that one's going to be a little bit expensive, ten, but it's like 10 bucks, whatever. It's like, whatever. I can pay 10 bucks for these guys because I'm going to pay like nothing for everything else. So it's good. Uh, pick up your event pack, six cards. It's a good time. Uh, getting on to the actual cards that matter, the cards that are changing in the format, uh, the cards that are going in tournaments. We're going to talk with Shine Graham on here. You can see this deck actually topped the last regionals uh, in TAC, TAC regionals, uh, and it's not going anywhere. It's still like 15 bucks. So, I mean, I, you know, this is a good time to pick this up. It's not been going up. It's just been going down, so it's good. And this is uh, still a good card for the deck. Of course, you have your... Um, uh, you have your Shine Graham on burst mode. Uh, it's got sales for like $11, but its uh, market is up at 35 and that's because there's no listings except for that one. There's like there's like no no listings. So yeah, definitely uh, you can see this card going up. It's still showing a downward spiral, but if there's no listings, this card's going to jump up in price like as soon as the next one sells. So yeah, watch out for it. Um, yeah, so you had to get your copies from your friends right now before <laughs> before it shows uh, a thirty-five dollar uh, market price. Uh, this one here, again, this one's trending a little bit up. You can see a little curve there. Um, you know, last sold's around twenty-eight, but again, listings wise, you know, we're seeing forty-two, thirty-five, forty-seven. So yeah, it'll jump up in price as soon as one of those sells. So. Uh, Lugarmon. Lugamon has exploded because it's in Dex Doru Goramon. It's in uh, the new Fenrir Lugamon stuff. Um, so it's being used in two top decks. Uh, you can see here it just exploded right here and it's now starting to curve off here. Uh, sitting around the 50 to 55 dollar mark. Again, listings are limited. So yeah, it's the time to sell this again. Definitely. Um, EG again, it's had not as much of an explosion here, but a little bit right here. Um, so bringing it up definitely um, back to around that you know twenty-five to thirty dollar mark. And again, like, let's look at listings here, limited listings. So definitely, uh, you know, take your pick. Uh, Ancient Guru Mon Koji, Koji has seen a lot of love uh, in the last couple weeks and is now kind of tapering off and starting to come down. Uh, but still sitting around the uh, you know ten to twelve dollar mark, uh, with the last sold being at seven. And let's see listings here. Wise again, listings are limited. Um, you sell sell you know a playset or two, and then it's up to thirty four dollars. So this deck is one of the best uh, for the format. There. Uh, you also have. Gabumon, which is being used in the deck, that's seen a huge spike because you use your draw engine to activate your abilities, which is really good. So yeah, seeing a huge spike there. Um, and then, you know, last sold $27, sitting around the $35 mark. Again, limited amount of copies. So that'll only push that up further unless people start uh, listing theirs. So be careful there if you're looking for those Gabumons. Um, I think we like even, I think I skipped past the Marcuses. <laughs> oh no, no, I didn't. I thought I skipped past the Marcuses. Uh, but I was only really looking at the one because that's the, the other one's pretty cheap. Um, and we already looked at the other Marcus, which is only 10 bucks. Um, Imper uh, Imperial Dramon here. Um, it's gone up quite a bit. I think this was like $30 when I last did a market analysis for it. And now we're sitting up at $53. Uh, last sold is $32, which is still pretty good because I think this, I, know, I think it was around $25. The deck's still doing really well. Um, you know, deck's still doing really, really well. Um, you can see here that this one's up at $32. So I think that one's had an increase too. But yeah, this, the crazy increase to this. Again, limited copies. Uh, if you want to get your stuff, it's yeah, it's a good time to sell these cards. Same with Pyildramon, you know, here fifty bucks. Um, it's it's been continuing to go up. Um, we got here, we got um, Davis and Ken. A lot of stuff is sold out now too. 
Um, so there's no listings here. Uh, you got 46 being the last sold. So this is a $50 card and you need four of like four of these, these, at least two to three of these. So it's a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah. I got Fang Longmon, uh, that top two. Uh, it's pretty cheap though. Fang Longmon, $14. Uh, this is a pretty cheap back to build, especially alt wise too, because uh, all the sovereigns are like less than $5 for the alt. <laughs> so that's hilarious. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. We have the Magnamon stuff um, because Magnamon topped and not vaccine Magnamon, but like. OG Vmon Magnamon. Um, so you still got this. This is still pretty high, $90. I think it must have gone up, um, if I'm correct. Maybe not. I thought it was lower than that, but uh, maybe, I was, maybe I was mistaken. Um, so definitely, this is expensive. You need at least one of those. That's expensive. Um, your Magnamon alts are, well, there's some of them are cheaper, but the regular, the first one's pretty expensive still. Um, yeah, so Magnamons are still expensive. Super expensive. Uh, and then the new edition of Flame Dramon, which I think a lot of people are running as least of a two of. Uh, $35, $36, the most expensive promo card. Hardest one to find. Um, really good card. And yeah, it's selling selling pretty high. Um, it was around 40 I could see it going. If the deck continues to good do good, I could see it going back up to 40 but it'll probably cool off and, and maybe drop below 30. Valkyrie Mon hasn't really had much of a price change. It's kind of coasting, but uh, Numamon's still doing really good, so I don't think I see this card going down anytime soon. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll try to stay in that $35 range. It is what it is. Venus Mon has had a bit of a cool off. I mean, we've had two alternate arts announced, the Heroin set and now the... Um, regionals participant pack so this card has actually seen quite a bit of a cool off um, yeah quite a bit of a cool off um, be interesting to see because I didn't when I was looking at Imperial Dramon I didn't look at dragon mode um, Imperial Because not so much uh, the the alternate art I wanted to see, because now we we have a uh, regional participant pack for the BT16 version. Um, so this one right here. Um, so I was wondering to see if this had come down at all. Um, no, it's it's holding at its like $200 price tag. There's no listings. I mean, it's a little pull rate, so you, you, it is what it is. Uh, Rune Mode, another good card for a lot of decks, including Numamon. That card is still seeing a bit of a decrease, but it's actually kind of rising again. Uh, this one's getting an alternate art in one of the limited sets, so it'll be interesting to see if that, when we get closer to that, um, if that brings the price down. Uh, still such an expensive card, $80 being its average. No listings either. Uh, Death Exmon, we're finally seeing the alt for Death Exmon, so we're actually seeing a in the ex uh, seven or not an ex seven event pack seven pack so uh we're seeing a drop here as it starts to finally come down as as well as like certain formats it's not as viable we're seeing like a drop here you know 57 dollars uh, not a lot of listings though so it could go back up and then lastly we're gonna look at beal starmon because beal starmon is uh, coming back, making a comeback, and Three Musketeers is making a comeback in the next set. It'll be interesting to see if you play any of the old Beelstarmon stuff. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. You got the new Ace card, you got the new X Anybody card, so it'll be interesting. I, you know, maybe you play the Beelstarmon from the starter deck. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but right now, looking at it here, um, it hasn't really done anything. Um, maybe a little bit bump tiny bump right there but it's kind of sticking around where it is um, $33 last sold 60 bucks it's still pretty expensive I know there's the alternate art here um, that's already $30 and stuff like that the regular six so that's not too bad but uh, yeah that is the market analysis guys that is the prices as we see them 
lots of cool things going on. Uh, lots of things to think about for EX7. Like I said, Three Musketeers being one of them. Um, you know, if that's the deck you're interested in, maybe pick up some Beale Star Mons if you think you're going to play them. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. They've kind of redefined the uh, Three Musketeers deck because the first time they put it out, it was supposed to be like a Three Musketeers deck and it was just a Beale Star Mon deck. So it'll be interesting to see how you have to play the cards now. But uh, yeah, t tell me what you guys think. Uh, what do you think about the meta? Do you think that these cards are going to come down a lot? Um, Imperial Dramon continues to go up. Uh, the Gabumon was a su nice surprise. Lots of cool things are just, just getting up there and, and seeing some things come down like Venusmon is... It's kind of nice uh, for once, and Death Axmon. But we'll see how these continue to change as we get those new tournament packs, as we get into EX7, and as we change into a new meta, which is going to be really soon. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day, and that's all for now, folks.